Check out these pictures. Which of them can you identify as being shot with a latest camera or an earlier camera? I'm pretty sure that you couldn't even tell. And of course, it brings me to this camera. I've been using this camera for close to five or six years. And this camera is almost a decade old. This is a Canon EOS 6D. And I was so happy when I first purchased this. When it came out, I had no idea how I was gonna be able to afford this. But after some time, being a photographer using Nikon D5100, that's actually the first camera I used, I fell in love with photography and I decided to change the ecosystem because of the accessories that Nikon manufactured were so expensive as compared to the Canon. So I got myself my first 6D, that's I think um, probably before 20, it was around 2017, yes. So I got my first Canon full frame camera in 2017 and I've been using it since, all right? It has been a wonderful journey using this camera. And of course, we always talk about this fact that it is always about the photographer or the one using the equipment and not the equipment that makes the photographer. As often as you can even keep up, lots of cameras are released, lots of equipment are released. And as at the recording of this video, Panasonic has released the Lumix GH6. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Canon US 6D, a camera that is almost a decade old. It was released in November 2012, and we are in 2022, and I'm still using this camera. If you look at my work, I've been using all these cameras. You know, I've had the liberty to have the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV and the Canon EOS R as well from my photographer friends. And trying my hands on them, of course, there's a whole new world of possibilities and the focusing system, everything is so enhanced and so better if you compare it to this. But the reason why I'm still holding on to this, perhaps you may be misconstruing that I'm broke. <laughs> it's actually far from that. Um, I'm hanging on to the EOS 6D because um, it still works. And um, it's a 20.2 megapixel camera, which is quite enough for the content that I create. And I always upload my content onto social media platforms, particularly Instagram which doesn't require so much of a resolution because even Instagram itself is going to um, degrade or downgrade or compress. That's actually the word, compress the files that you upload on the platform. So a 20.2 megapixel camera is just perfect. It works perfectly fine. And I haven't had any issues until when I realized that the rubber that helps me tune my settings um, came off and that's actually the issue, but I can still use the dial over here behind to still control my settings. But the fact that this camera is a full frame camera still makes it relevant in 2022. And I have a plethora of lenses, the same ecosystem of Canon that I use. Even the cinema camera that I use, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, um, I have a speed booster that allows me to mount my EF mounts or my EF lenses on them. So I'm still finding myself in the same ecosystem. So I don't have to be you know, spending money on different lenses from different brands. So um, being a full frame and using it for quite some time, I can say that I know every nook and cranny of this camera. And I think perhaps that's one reason, but the most uh, prevalent reason why I'm still using the Canon EOS 6D is because I stopped shooting weddings and this camera has been with me ever since I started shooting weddings, I mean, for the most part in my photography career. And um, I had this fear of losing my shutter count or running out of my shutter count, but it hasn't ever given me any issue. I think one day I was shooting a wedding and it rained and uh, because of um, the skin that I have protecting the camera, I felt that I could stay under the rain for quite a couple of minutes. But uh, the water leaked into the camera and it gave me some problems. I was destroyed that day, trust me. But um, after some time, I didn't even put it in rice because normally if you have your gadget drenched in water, you put it in rice and uh, it pulls out or it sucks away the water. But I haven't had any problems since even though I didn't use that method. I put it there, I took off the lens and turned it over this way to allow it to go through and pass through it and it became dry and it still works. And I'm still having my camera perfectly working. This particular, um, battery grip that I have under here 
has been with me also for the longest time <laughs> it hasn't changed and uh, it has a bit of problems of course with the tuning and all the i mean some of the dials over here but it still works um i barely shoot photography commercially now and for that matter I don't find myself using the camera as often, but anytime I pick it up, it's still working as perfectly as I would want it to. It is beat up, but I still use it for every photography project. Most of the pictures that you've seen me post on my Instagram page were shot on this camera. And um, even though I've tried my hands on different cameras, upgrades, like I spoke about the 5D Mark IV and the EOS R, um, I still find myself turning back to the Canon EOS 6D because I know everything about the camera and it's like it's on my fingertips when i pick up the camera i can just take pictures real quick and the images are always consistent even at the start of this video when you saw the pictures running through you noticed consistency in the style and that's because that's actually a style that i've cut for myself and it works across board and it's very significantly identical throughout all the pictures that i've posted on my instagram and um yeah I may be holding on to this camera for quite some time, maybe two or three years, if it's still going to be working. But until maybe my shutter release button actually gives away, I'm still going to be using this camera. I'm not the type who normally sells his gear. So um, I keep my cameras, I keep almost all my gadgets that I've used, those that are even messed up, I still keep them on my shelf. And uh, yeah, it's always having a story to tell and it reminds me of the events and you know all the moments that we've shared together myself and my gadgets so basically that's the reason why i'm holding on to my canon us 6d and uh, of course maybe in the future when i'll be upgrading i'm still gonna have this body with me still working hopefully <laughs> it's been with me for five years as i said but still working and that's what matters so it is always about you behind the camera and not the camera that makes you better or professional so if you're thinking about upgrading have a big reason why you're actually upgrading not just following trends and following what's in vogue all right so i'm gonna catch you later in the next video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that the next time i upload a new video over here on my youtube channel you'll be the first to see it and to watch it as well have a wonderful day see ya